For the seniors on the Penn State football team, this is the last time they get to play the game they love, surrounded by their teammates and coaches at the Citrus Bowl. Now, for underclassmen, it's a chance for them to show what they can bring to the table next season. Now, insert Juwan Johnson, the wide receiver. He's got it, but it didn't quite show up the way he plans this season. Sports director Peter Terpsha has more. If you find yourself outside of Orlando, Florida at Celebration High School, you're going to find the Penn State equipment truck. This is where they're setting up shop for the bowl game against Kentucky coming up on New Year's Day. It's where they're practicing. And for a guy like wide receiver Jawan Johnson, it's the last chance to finish the season on a high note. You really can't miss Jawan Johnson on the outside. Six foot four, 225 pounds, a big body receiver with even bigger expectations entering the season. Touchdown! Jawan Johnson! Penn State wins it! That was his first touchdown catch, a walk off winner. He told about 700 yards receiving last season, but this year, about half of that. A lot of the times, so people will. You know, commend you for when you do good and then they'll try to bash you when you do bad. So ultimately, just never getting too high or too low. He's always been a guy that's uh, invested a great deal, and I think the team sees that. You know, but what's also interesting is, you know, when you're young, you think life is fair. And if I invest this, then I should get a immediate return on my investment. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't work like that. He's had a number of drops and also maybe the play of the year. Now Jawan Johnson is eligible for the NFL draft and if a team chooses to take a chance on him, maybe he could leave after the bowl game. We'll just have to wait and see. Reporting from Cassandra.